time to go back to school after two and a half years. Oh my goodness. So this is my new home. I'm studying digital communications and media at IE University in Spain. And this is how my first week went. So apparently we're supposed to dress semi-formally for this. No one told us this, we didn't get an email, but word has been going around and everyone's trying to figure out what we're supposed to wear. This is the closest thing I have to formal. I still don't have a lot of my clothes. My parents are supposed to send them over. For shoes, I literally only have sneakers and sandals, so sneakers will have to do for today. So something I like to do when I want to be really efficient is get ready during my Pomodoro breaks. So I had a few hours to work on my video script and then any time that I took a break, I would incrementally get ready, like put on my clothes or do a little part of my makeup. This is the best I could do with the wardrobe that I have right now. We got a bunch of merch, so a duffel bag, um, a little thermos cup, and then a branded face mask. And there were also boxes of Red Bull, but I'm not into energy drinks, so I didn't take that. I thought that was a little weird that our university is sponsored by Red Bull. The opening ceremony is basically just to welcome all the new students. It was a little repetitive, a little boring. Otherwise, the important part of today was the club fair, where we got to go around, learn about all the clubs, and sign up for any that we were interested in. Before I came here, I told myself, Patricia, do not sign up for any clubs. You have YouTube, you have school, you're gonna have a full plate already. And then I put my email on like six lists, so. Hi Beatrice, I'm Patricia. <laughs> After lunch, I went with a friend to do a little shopping. We went to Flying Tiger, a home goods store, and a grocery store. It was raining the whole time and I did not have an umbrella, but at the end of the day, I got everything that I needed. I find it very difficult to wake up here because the sun rises a lot later. Apparently Spain is like in the wrong time zone or something. I, I heard that somewhere. But breakfast is my favorite time of the day, so that does motivate me to get out of bed. So yesterday I actually lost my key card. One time I did lose it and I spent like half an hour looking for it in my room and then I found it in the trash. This time I lost it for real. So today we had our first sort of classes. It wasn't as fun as I thought it would be. What we started with was just a presentation about how some of the things in the degree are gonna work. And then we did icebreakers. The first one was like the most basic get to know you questions. And that was actually okay. But then the next activity was where you had to like come up with a team logo, motto, and mission, which was just confusing. One group actually did really well and they won by a landslide because at the end we voted. They talked about like how they were all from countries that in the past had been colonized by Spain, but now they were coming to Spain and sort of like taking over the university. And so their logo was an Uno reverse card. And that was by far the most creative thing anyone did there. I actually had two exciting things planned for today and both of them were canceled because of the weather. But first of all, I was supposed to meet with an American student who's studying abroad here, but not at my university. And then I was supposed to, I was signed up for this speed like meet and greet event, like speed dating, except just like not dating. I was actually pretty excited, but that's not happening because it's raining all week. I do have some work that I need to do, but my brain's just not really into it right now. I just have to get into it, I guess. Also, I think I'm hungry, so I need to fuel my brain. Come on, come on. Ugh. So I have a full meal plan and I eat lunch and dinner at the cafeteria. The food has actually been amazing. I look forward to every meal time. Um, yeah, I just, I just love eating, okay? The first week that I was here, for some reason, I just did not want to call my family at all. But enough time went by, and it was really nice to talk to them. Um, my dad like went through the boxes of clothes in my closet that I had at home, and I had to figure out what I wanted them to send me so that I could have it here in Spain.
these documents are going to be the death of me and the university is so unhelpful. I don't want to sound unappreciative, but like you email financial aid and they tell you to go ask administrations and then you email administrations and they tell you you need to ask financial aid and no one seems to have the answers unless you march into the office and you're like, please just give me an address for this check that I need to send. And then there's the issue of getting myself set up to work as a self-employed person in Spain, which I think won't be as bad because I'm an EU citizen. However, it's still really confusing and I don't think the university has any advice to give to me regarding this topic because I actually did send the university one question. We have to get this thing called the NIE. On the form, they gave us instructions on how to fill out the form. It said to check the box that says that you are a student coming here with like sufficient funds to support yourself basically. But another one of the options is to say that you are a self-employed person. So I emailed them and I said, okay, so I am going to be working online freelance while I am here. So should I actually check that box instead of the student one? And in their email back to me, they were like, even though you will be working, working in quotation marks, I was like, excuse me, even though you will be working, your primary purpose here is to be a student. And then they said like, oh, so if you are going to be doing any internships, you have to make sure to talk to your academic department before that. And I was like, what I'm doing is not an internship and it's also not working in quotation marks. Like, I don't know, maybe they are right. Maybe I still do check the student box, but like, I don't really trust their advice. If I say that I'm just a student, student coming here with sufficient funds, that feels like lying. That feels like the incorrect answer. So I'm going to get someone else's opinion on that. <sighs> I don't know, man. Sometimes I'm like, wow, imagine how much easier things would have been if I just stayed in the US. <sighs> So I think today I'm just gonna go back to administrations with a scholarship question, the language center with a Spanish class question, and then a clothing store because it's getting cold here and I don't really have the necessary clothes. I literally have one sweatshirt. <sighs> okay, it's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. It was not okay. So the language center was closed for no apparent reason. So I did some other stuff. I went to the post office, which was unsuccessful for reasons that are gonna take too long to explain. I went to an ATM. It started raining, so I stopped by this perfume shop and got some really nice smelling um, fragrances. Okay, okay, I feel cute. I forgot that I need my passport to get a phone plan, so I'm gonna get that and continue this tiring day of errands. I missed a bus that only comes once an hour, so I ended up taking a taxi to this big, huge, gigantic hypermarket, it's actually called. Um, there's a Cade 4 at the south of Segovia, so I got a few things for my dorm, a few food items, and then I was exhausted. Oh my god! Once I was done just laying on my bed, recuperating, I put everything away. I actually even organized my entire bathroom, and I love how it looks now. After dinner, we had to leave the cafeteria, but then we just kind of lingered around <laughs> campus, and it was really nice to just talk for a while. And once I got back to my room, I organized some of the footage that I got so far for the weekly vlog, and I started watching Jonathan's Skillshare class. So yes, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. As you probably already know, because I've worked with Skillshare in the past and I love their platform, Skillshare is an online learning community for curious and creative people. I feel like when people think of Skillshare, they usually think of classes like photography and illustration, which they definitely have lots of. But there's also classes like for gardening, for art journaling, for music theory. And so this time around, because I am studying communications at university, I was like, I do not want to do any more like photography videography classes what I felt like I needed was a class on self-care so I took Jonathan Van Ness's class I freaking love Jonathan I love queer eye welcome class is now in session so there's classes for every skill level you can learn by yourself at your own pace and then share your project with the community or you can actually take live classes that they offer alongside other students there's no ads, they're constantly adding premium classes, so there's always something new to check out. So if you're interested, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description are gonna get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can explore your creativity today. I 
I don't get much natural light in my room, so I go out into this little area to do my makeup because I feel like if I do it in artificial lighting and then I go out into natural light, it's gonna look weird. But also, I just don't really know a lot about makeup, so that might be the actual problem here. And I left my heart the rooms on my floor get cleaned on Thursdays, so I just have to take all the sheets and the towels and put them by the door. And then I had the perfect amount of time while I had to leave my room to do my laundry and complete the one reading assignment that I had. I have like almost no homework still, upsides of doing a communications major, but I did that and then I came back and I recorded a new video. Welcome back to the Bliss Feed. Welcome back to the Bliss Feed. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Bliss. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. Back to the Bliss Feed. Bliss Feed, and I will see you next week. Bye. Oh my goodness, we're done. We're done. We're done. After lunch, I was once again on a mission to complete errands. So I went to student services, then I went back to the language center, and guess what I missed on the sign the last time I was there? They are only open on Mondays and Wednesdays. So once again, I did not get to ask the question that I had. Instead, I came back to my room, I answered some emails, I put the sheets back on the bed. Session. I really should have been invited to the Met Gala. I'm gonna try to go down to the terrace patio area and film some b-roll. Hopefully no one else is sitting there. That would be very awkward. I think I'm safe. Okay, I did it. I actually met two new people that live in this residence but that I hadn't met before. Um, with this one guy, we were actually talking about um, this grocery store and how to get there and I said that I took a taxi and I was I was telling him about my YouTube channel before so he was like well you're a youtuber so you're rich so like you can afford the taxi generally my social battery has been pretty low but there's like something about having makeup on for filming and then carrying around like my big camera and being like yeah I'm a youtuber that gives you a real dose of confidence like I know I shouldn't base my self-worth on my accomplishments and what my job is and whatever but Having a YouTube channel, like a successful YouTube channel, makes me pretty dang proud of myself. I can't really say that that's a bad thing. Once I got through the checklist of B-roll that I needed to film, I did a little bit of yoga, I played a little bit of Just Dance, and then we went to dinner and can I just say that every single time I walk outside here, I can't believe how beautiful it is. Like I'm sure it'll get kind of old eventually, but for now, wow. Hey. <laughs> I'm honestly really happy right now. I feel like, oh, there's something on my camera lens. I feel like I've met a group of people that I really like hanging out with. Today, I actually found out that two of them are not going anymore to this music festival thing that's happening on Saturday just for IE students. And I had a ticket, and when I heard they weren't going, I almost felt like this relief, like I had permission to not go as well. Like, I actually was a little bit ex a little bit excited about it, not that much. Mainly, I was kind of like, oh, it's gonna be like such a big trip to get there, I'm gonna get home so late. But now that I know I'm not going, I feel relief. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have time to just read a book or watch a movie. But actually, two other reasons that they decided to not go were that there are people getting sick in our dorm. Literally an hour or two after recording this, I started to feel a sore throat. And then I had a runny nose, I was tired, I had a cough. I took two antigen tests, both of them came back negative, but I'm so glad that I stayed home and just rested. It also might rain on Saturday, which would just suck. And it's the kind of thing where you can't just go home whenever you want. Like if, when I would go up to bars last week, I could come home if I wanted to, like it's no problem, I live very close, but we're gonna be taking a bus out to the music festival location. And so if I wanted to go home, I would basically be stuck until the bus was scheduled to take us home. It looks like I'm selling my ticket and I heard that the tickets are in very high demand because not everyone who wanted one could get one, they sold out. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna be a huge terrible scalper, but I'm definitely gonna raise the price a little bit and maybe use that money to like buy a movie ticket or something. I bought it for 30, I sold it for 50. Same, same. Yeah. 
I wish, I wish I went for 60. I know, it would have been easy. I definitely felt like, oh, I'm not going to that festival anymore. I didn't get to see that friend on Tuesday. I didn't get to do the speed meet thing. This vlog is gonna be so boring. Like people are gonna think I never do anything fun. And then I was like, you know what? I've had a good week. This is how I like to spend my time. So it doesn't matter how it looks to other people. And that is your inspirational message for the day. I started my Friday with a meeting with Maya, who is my assistant, and we always have a lot of fun, even though I had just woken up, as you can see from my hair. After that, I recorded a TikTok to promote the video that was going up that day, because I do TikToks, I'm cool, I'm hip, I'm with it. This is Zinook for the first day of class. My hair is not really behaving today. But I did my makeup mainly because I have to film something after class. It's just a nice bonus to also be able to wear it to class though. And then I got a claw clip. Um, I'm not really sure exactly how to use it. I think it looks okay. It's like sticking out at the top, but I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> This first class was writing for media, of course, since it was the first session. We didn't really do anything. We went over the syllabus. We talked about what objectivity in journalism is, and we all introduced ourselves, and we have like 60 people in the class, so that took about an hour. So I made my weekly plan in the middle of the week, so I just did Thursday through Sunday. Um, 30 minutes of Just Dance, I did that yesterday. That was fun. Today, my plans are to decorate this notebook and watch two episodes of Sex Education. I didn't have any ideas for Saturday, so we'll see, but then Sunday, spa moment. To me, that just means like taking a long shower, not rushing, conditioning my hair, moisturizing, doing everything. Afterwards, my friend showed me what she likes to make for breakfast, so she makes overnight oats. We did kind of a little cooking tutorial in the residence kitchen. What we do at nine for a <laughs> Yes. You know when like makeup YouTubers they, they pull something up to the camera and they put their hand behind it. <laughs> <and then>, like, <laughs> get some um this is the almond milk by Maybelline. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Season three of Sex Education came out that day and I knew I was gonna binge it. I did not even try to like ration it because I've been waiting for this for two years, but I just wanted to watch it and see what happens because season two ended on a huge cliffhanger. Um, so yeah, the next day I woke up super late. All I did was shower and then it was time for lunch already. After lunch though, I did do something good for me and I went out and I climbed this like little castle thing just to look at the view and get some fresh air. But then I did go back to my room and continue watching. Back to work. I'm a very busy person. I have lots I need to get done. stressed out there's a lot happening next week a lot of classes right now I'm trying to do my weekly planning and I'm clearing my brain dump so these are just a few things that popped into my head last week um, so I'm trying to get them done the one I'm working on now is trying to order a backup hard drive it seems like hard drives are more expensive here so that's a little annoying I miss America <laughs> I was actually feeling really out of it on Sunday. I couldn't focus long enough to finish my weekly planning. I called my family though, so that was really nice, and we watched the new episode of Ted Lasso together. But like honestly, in this clip, I was almost crying. I was on the verge of tears, so I really needed to just leave my room. I was really thankful because my friend texted me to ask if I wanted to grab dinner, so that helped me to feel a lot better. Um, yeah, college has just been ups and downs, but it's made me really happy editing this video because honestly, truly, this week was mainly ups. It was a really good week, so thank you for following me on this journey. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week. Bye!